The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Greetings to those joining us on the live stream. Many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. There were those who wanted the experience of being disciples, but did not want to live up to the expectations of discipleship. There were those who wanted to be identified with the Christ movement, but did not want to invest themselves with any intimacy in the movement. There were those who wanted to be close enough to benefit from the ministry, but far enough not to be committed. There were those who wanted the privilege of discipleship, but had no real passion to make a decision. They wanted a moment on the stage, but not a permanent part in the drama. His sayings are too hard. His expectations are too high, too much. Jesus says to the twelve, do you also want to leave? In Peter's reply, we find the good news of this scripture passage. First, when he says, to whom shall we go? He admits the apostles' own doubts. They've thought about it. They're having their own struggles as well. I mean, they left behind houses and families. But then Peter says, you have the words of eternal life. We found in you what we wanted and needed. You have encouragement for our discouragement. You have cleansing for our contamination. You have the presence for our pressures. But more than that, we find our destiny is tied up in your words. You have become our anchor. Sometimes in your own journey, you're in that crowd walking away from Jesus. Sometimes you find yourself being pushed and drifting. Life's seas have you reeling and rocking. 
you know what an anchor does. Check your anchor. Then Peter says, we have come to believe and are convinced. Belief allows you to hang in when you're weary and worn. Belief helps you to look at the darkness and anticipate the light. Belief allows you to cry and then to wipe away your tears, expecting to smile again in a few days. Beliefs not predicated on learned facts, but on personal intimate experience. And finally, Peter says, you are the Holy One of God. You are the anointed. We have seen you out on the sea when the storms were beating against the boat and the waters were filling the hull. The lightning was flashing, the thunder roaring the wind pushing the ship into the abyss of the sea. You said, peace, be still. Perhaps there's a storm brewing in your sea of life. Perhaps the wind is blowing. Hang in there. He is anointed to handle them. We have seen you take the meager makings of a lunch and turn the desert into a banquet setting with barrels left over. Perhaps you're trying to do lots with a little and you can't, but he is the anointed. The wine at the wedding feast ran out Mary went to Jesus. Wine symbolizes joy, and happiness, and merriment. Maybe the wine in your life is empty or low. He can refill your containers. He is anointed. Perhaps you have guilt that is hanging over you. And this cloud just will not move from you. There is a darkness that just keeps hovering over you. He is anointed. Perhaps you are bent over by the cares of the world. Your back curved by the burdens of life. He is able to loosen you. He is anointed. He is anointed as Alpha and Omega, as the great I Am, as the door, as the good shepherd, as the true vine, as the way, the truth, and as the very bread of life.